Hello everyone, good morning. By the time this video goes out, I hope that we're still having wonderful weather. As you can see, I am sitting in my garden making the most of it. I am here today to talk to you all about why diets stop working. This is a really, really common experience for the women that we work with. We find that so many women tell us that you know, the diets that they used to do in their 20s, in their 30s, you know, they used to work for them. They used to be able to just drop weight when they needed to, but now, now that they're in their 40s, 50s, 60s, the weight just isn't coming off, even though they're doing the same diets and they're probably being more disciplined with it than they used to be, and they're exercising loads as well. So why does this happen where you're putting in the same, if not more effort and getting no results or very, very slow progress? And the other thing that, you know, a lot of women experience as well is that, you know, when they go through this process at a later point, the cravings and the hunger can just be unbearable just so difficult to struggle through and it makes it so difficult to actually be disciplined as well so it just seems to be that it's a much much harder proce process when you come to diet in the late 30s and onwards and you know, part of the reason why this might be is it can be to do with your hormones and other imbalances that might be occurring as you transition through the perimenopause to menopause. So, you know, really as you get to the end of your 30s, your hormones are starting to change quite significantly as you move into perimenopause, which is a very, there's a lot of blurred lines of perimenopause. There's no definitive way of knowing if you are menopausal or perimenopausal um sorry i said menopausal i meant perimenopausal so there's it's very difficult to know whether you're in that stage but generally after the age of 35 your hormones are starting to change so you can generally assume that your hormones are starting to to shift as you move into your 40s that transition can really change the way that your body stores fat it can really change the way that your body responds to stress and how resilient you are to stress um, and stress is a massive factor when it comes to your weight management to to your uh, sex hormone balance to all those symptoms that you might experience as you become perimenopausal but also things like cravings as well so that poor resilience to stress that tends to come as you become perimenopausal, that can really contribute to this struggle, not just the stubborn weight, but also the symptoms and the cravings as well. And then add to that, for many of you watching, you've probably had years of yo-yoing. And you know, for some people, this can be quite extreme. It can be you know, really quite significant weight loss, several stone. For others, it might just be a few pounds that we're talking about. But generally, you know, if over the years you've done diets and your weight has gone up and down and up and down, then that in itself can do some metabolic damage, which can make it more difficult for you to lose weight. One of the things that I wanted to explain to you today was the concept of metabolic down regulation. And this is something where when you, um, <clears throat> when you restrict your calories or you restrict generally, if you go on a low fat diet, it's, it's basically the same thing as a low calorie diet. So when you restrict, um, your, your body adapts to that. So to give you a proper example, let's say that you're eating 2000 calories a day to start with. And let's say that um, you 
cut down your calories to 1500 so that you can lose weight and you will lose weight probably to start with you might not if you've had metabolic down regulation um, but the first few times you cut your calories you'll probably lose weight so um, you'll cut your calories to 1500 and then you'll, you should start to lose weight but what happens is your your metabolism it's going to compensate for that reduction in energy coming in. The, the goal of, of your metabolism is to keep you alive. It's about ensuring that there's a balance between the energy that's coming in and the energy that's being expended. So every time you cut your calories consistently, your body is going to respond to that by down-regulating your metabolism so that there's not an imbalance between the amount of energy being burned um, and the amount of energy coming in and you can swap the word energy for calories so that means that when you've cut your calories to 1500 eventually your body cuts its expenditure to 1500 calories and that means that you stop losing weight and then what most people do in that situation is they reduce down even further or they start exercising more to increase that calorie deficit. So the same thing happens again. Your metabolism will just keep down regulating to meet the, the demand or meet the um, amount of calories that are coming in. And usually at that point, you get a bit frustrated because your weight is plateaued again. You're pretty fed up because you've been missing out on all the nice things that you like to eat. And so a lot of people at the point will give up and go back to eating the 2000 calories or just more than they had been eating. And the annoying bit is that your metabolism doesn't just come back up. You know, you've trained your body to eat less now. So your metabolism doesn't just spring back up when you start eating more again. So whereas before you may have been eating 2000 calories and maintaining, now you're eating 2000 calories and gaining, right? So that in a nutshell is why calorie counting and restrictive approaches just don't work. And when you're younger, your metabolism has this flexibility where it can cope with that restriction. It can bounce back a lot quicker, but as you get older, you've got all these other changes happening in your body with your hormones, inflammation, blood sugars, and that means that your body doesn't bounce back in the same way and it becomes so much harder, in some cases impossible, to lose weight with restriction alone. And that's why it's so important to take steps to actually build up your metabolism. Now that's what we do in the Nourish Method. We work on actually building up the, uh, the things that influence your metabolism. So supporting the hormones and you know, the thyroid and supporting the gut bacteria and correcting deficiencies, thinking about intolerances, all these things that impact your metabolism and the way your body burns and stores fats. So it's a very different approach because it's all about nourishing your body and addressing the imbalances so that we build up the metabolism rather than taking a dieting approach where you restrict and you essentially starve and that depletes your metabolism. So that's what we want to be thinking about is what is your body missing? What does your body need to function at its very best? So hopefully this has been helpful to see that there is another way. And if you feel like you're at a point where you're ready to really ditch the dieting and stop doing these restrictive approaches that don't work, or you know, especially don't work in the long term and you'd like a better approach where you can give your body what it needs and you can lose weight and feel amazing without having to cut out all your favorite foods or count calories or say no to going out and having dinner out with friends then the best thing to do is schedule in a weight loss breakthrough call with me this is a call where 
we'll be talking about you what is going on in your body what you need to to you know, boost your metabolism and start seeing results it's a free call and it's all about me being of service to you and helping you to identify what's going on in your body what you need and how to get you to your goals so if that sounds good use the link in the description to schedule your call and I'll look forward to talking with you and if this video has been helpful then make sure you give me a like liking this video helps others to see it um, and helps Facebook or YouTube wherever you're watching to show it to more people have a good day and I'll be back soon bye